Welcome to helpyourmath.com. Right, today we're going through the probability section. We have, uh, first of all, the two-way table over here. Right, there is a survey. We have uh, the column character to say, well, the international student. We're taking survey basically from the students at uh, BMCC. Right, the international student is the first column, then the second column is the non-international students. Uh, the role over there, we have the role of male student and the role of female student. Each uh, input here right, is an intersection. So for the 12 here, which meaning uh, we have those 12 students are international students who are uh, male, right? the male international students. And then the 98 here, uh, they are the students who, who are male non-international students. So that's what the table meaning. So if we want to find the total people being surveyed, right, we have the international student. We're looking for the total. Right? International students in that uh, survey, we got 18 and the 12 together, that's uh, 30. And the non-international students, 98 and the 72 together, we have 170. For the male students, that's the role, right? The role total for uh, adding together the international and the international for male, we have uh, 12 plus uh, 98, that is 110. And of course, female, we have uh, 18 international, 17 non-international, uh, 72 inter non-international, together we have uh, 90. So no matter what row total and column total we have together, is uh, we got uh, the overall is 200 students uh, being surveyed. Right now, the basic or the classical approach of the probability will be a probability of a, an event will be just uh, the number of way of that event happened divided by the number of the sample size, right? the number of the sample space we have. So. If we're looking for the probability here, right, we have uh, randomly select one person. We have uh, we're asking for the probability of uh, what we're selecting as a male. Right, we just need to see well, how many male students we have. That is uh, 110 divided by the total we selected, that's, uh, we surveyed, that's 200 students. Right, that probability will be 110 over 200. If we divide it into decimal, you could use calculator to do that. That will give you 0 0.55. And also, the second question here, right? finding the probability of, uh, here the notation is union, which meaning whatever the person, one person we select is a female or an international student. Right, this or is inclusive or, so we could uh, have the um, uh, have the like uh, case in both uh, the person is both female and international. And uh, first of all, intuitively, right, the intu intuitive way we have the person is a uh, female. We're looking for the female role, and the person is also an international student. So we're looking at the column of international. So basically, we have uh, one, two, three different characters. All these uh, satisfy the person is a female or international student. Right? So simply, intuitively, we can just add in the character together. Where we have uh, 12 uh, male international, 18 female international, and also 72 female non-international. Those three together will be satisfy all the character of international students or a female student. Right, then we divide that by 200, we will get uh, is uh, 170, uh, 102. Right, divide by 200. That will be 0 0.51. And if you're trying to use the formula, I'll erase this question so far, then I'll put it later. Uh, if we want to use the formula, 
uh, the probability to find it's a female student or it's an international. Uh, it follows the addition rule, uh, which we will add the probability of uh, female student plus the probability of inter international student. Right, that is the probability of selecting the row here, and the uh, international will be selecting the column here. But when you're observing it, right, you will see the row is 18 and 72, the column is 12 and 18. You're adding the 18 twice. Right? It's causing the duplicate, or oh, having the 18 twice. So because the 18 falls in the character of international, also falls in the character of uh, female, we have the extra. So we need to, to find the actual probability. We need to take out whatever we did twice, which is not supposed to do it. So, so, right, so we need to take out the probability of uh, duplicate, which is the character of uh, the person selecting as female, and the person is international also. For and, we use the notation, it's like upside down U. Right, so here we get the probability of female selecting is uh, the row of uh, female 90. And international, we have 30 over there, over 200. And take away the character which is uh, female and international, that is uh, 18, over 200. Right, which should also give us uh, 102 over 200. That is uh, two different ways. One intuitive way, the observing on the table is easy, but when we get in the harder problem, uh, will be easier when we use the, pr uh, the addition rule, right? because individual probability normally is easier to find for other type of question when we're not, observe, when we're not given the uh, tables. Right, then let's go back to the third question, which is to find the probability of female given the select person is an uh, international student. Well, that thing here, the vertical line here, small vertical line here, is the conditional probability. It is uh, saying that, well, the probability of selecting person is a female if uh, or given that the person is an international student, right? So there's also intuitively, if we're looking for the female, but we know already the international student is uh, the event that already happened, right? So we only focusing on the international student part, right? So we know already, like the condition give us, we know already the student is an international student. So it's kind of focusing on a small new subsample over here. Well, we have just 30 international students over here. Then from those people, Right, we have 18 females. So the probability, or in other words here, conditional probability, that will be just selecting the 18 female international students from the international students. Right, that's intuitively, basically, it's true. Right, or if we use the formula, the conditional probability formula tells us if we're looking for uh, a given B, that will be the probability of the intersection divided by whatever the condition is. Right, this uh, formula, as we see observing on that, is uh, true always. And also, for some other question, this formula may be more useful than the intuitive way. Right, probability of international students that uh, 30 over 200, getting the intersection as we see female and international, that's 18. So basically over there still should give us the 18 over 30 become the probability.